Hi, Ashish. Hi. Hi, sir. So, you know, what I'm going to try to do today is, uh, I was speaking with Ashish before, and he has uh, not been in the healthcare or hospital business. So he started out with Group M, right? Then he went yes. to Nokia, went to Microsoft. So actually, I was asking him something, which I briefly asked him, and I'm going to start there, that he has been an outsider to the to the hospital, I was going to say hospitality, I'm sorry, hospital business, right? And healthcare. I, a healthcare business, okay. So I want him to give, before I come to the use of advertising, especially in local languages and all of that, I want to understand when you joined here about two, two and a half years ago, two years back, right? Yes. Two years ago, what did you, what struck you as being different about this business from a marketing standpoint? See, the first thought was, why do hospital needs marketing? Okay. It all started from that. Um, and honestly, I was right because um, the marketing was not done for a consumer base. It was done for a patient base. Could you, could you uh, d explain the difference? So uh, if I give you an example, then let's just say I'm, I'm reaching out to people who are in line of right now buying a car. But I'm not reaching out to everyone to build aspirations to buy a car. So you're talking about big ticket surgeries. Correct. So uh, it was about that somebody somewhere in India needs a surgery. And I'm going to reach out to that only cohort and give them the solution of their problem. So that was uh, that what intrigued me because there is so much more as a healthcare brand that you can do, that you just don't need someone to be on the table to be cut open, rather than you as a healthcare brand should make sure that you don't reach to that level. Correct, so more, okay, healthcare wellness. So tell me one thing, if you look at, I'm not asking specifically about your chain, uh, not about Narayana, but generally, what is the, how much of the, do these chains revenues come from the surgeries as opposed to from everything else. Is it that it's very skewed towards that? Absolutely it is. So uh, it's what, like 70%? Uh, more than 70%. Okay, so then it's very good reason to focus only on that, isn't it? So from a business point of view, it has always made sense for that. And that is why the entire industry kept doing. But tell me, is anywhere out here will say, when I have some healthcare issues, I'm gonna go here. Or tomorrow morning when I have some indigestion, I'll get up and I'll go, gonna go to this brand. That loyalty is not there. Why? Because it was a very transactional relationship that I had built with the brand. So what, what is the basis for people deciding which hospital they'll go to for a particular surgery? Is it because of any big ticket uh, intervention? So would it be the hospital chain? Would it be the distance? Would it be the name of the doctor? What? So if I say, uh, let's say 10 years back, it was 100% on the name of the doctor. On the name of the doctor? 100%. Okay. And uh, of course, it's the effort of the doctor, and uh, they are the one who are going to save it. But right now, the parameters have got added up. I would like, the f I'd like to know the facility, how big is it. I would like to know the brand name, whether they are clinically proven history or not. And then comes the decision, and the last which hits the nail is the name of the doctor. Earlier, none of these factors used to matter. Just loyalty to the doctor. Just loyalty to the doctor. And I think a lot of it happened because uh, in COVID, we started discovering more about her health. We gave that time to ourselves. And when we gave that time, we understood these are the parameters that work. So, um... So when you look at, uh, okay, just a minute. So when you, your chain, you have 14 hospitals, right? We are in 14 cities. So you're we have 14, 39 units. You have 39 and, units. And uh, 39 units means our uh, big hospitals, which are more than uh, 150, 180 bedded, to our flagships in um, Bangalore and Kolkata, which are upwards of 500 beds. Uh, we have our clinics and we have our uh, heart centers. Okay, so to return to that point, you know, that there's a base of people who are the patients, they are the, op the outdoor patients, right? And your hope is to be able to build that into a base of loyal uh, customers. Is that what you're trying to do now? So absolutely. Um, 
let's say for a for a healthcare brand and if you are just like any other brick and mortar store let's say let's talk about fashion right now so when i'm talking about let's say zara so the zara ecosystem will be within that 30 kilometers 10 kilometers people who will be coming and buying at my store okay right otherwise it's all digital i can do the shopping i need to similarly for healthcare and i'm just because of we are talking marketing right now that's why i'm explaining it like this of course otherwise it it's a very different ball game mm-hmm. so from that point of view it is always that 30 km radius because if i have a problem i don't want to travel that far because i had need that connection back home i need to service a lot of things so that i keep coming and going back from my home correct so the neighborhood becomes the most important aspect of building the loyalty so do anything about health within that ecosystem of 30 kilometers you will have uh, people looking up to you for the right reasons in healthcare but on the other hand <clears throat> so here's so it's a very uh, unusual situation where the large base of people who visit your facility are people who live within 30 kilometers they spend smaller bits of money correct but the people who really want to spend the large bits of money they might come from anywhere like i, I believe you get a lot of people from where from uh, bangladesh right for example yes so so you've got two markets we don't seem to have anything to do with each other and yet you're the cmo so you have to deal with both right can you convert one into the other or can they not be converted yes they can be converted mm. there is scope uh, and there are ways and there are ways of business to convert now if you look at this as a as a uh, marketing problem to solve of course you start building that particular area that you want more of okay. and like you rightly G- said give me an example so say for instance um, we want to take up within 30 kilometers then whatever interventions whatever communication whatever brand building whatever engagement i'll do i do it within that 30 kilometer okay so my campaigns will be very very hyper local that's even and, and for uh, each of these centers right everything of course so even if okay. you do outdoors even if you do cinema even if you do uh, a walkathon even if you do a cyclothon all of that will happen and even if you, your search will work within 20 kilometers correct so all of that happens at a very very hyper local have you started doing that uh we've been trying our hand from last three quarters on this okay and that has been our endeavor and um we produce a lot of content that is that can be consumed has the accent has the feel of uh, the local nuances okay that's very interesting and what is what have been the early lessons because everything would not have gone right there must have been some things which might have been one worked wonderfully well and some things which may have worked not so well so what have been the big lessons in this trying to localize because it's a very fascinating thing what you're doing you know uh, that instead of a catch all type of campaigning doing very local advert local uh, marketing so i'll give um, i'm we are really proud of it uh, inside er this is our uh, mini web series that we have launched it's 10 episodes across the nation featuring particular locations where our doctors our teams helped a emergency case say for instance somebody a marathon runner where, where is it available so it's now available on our youtube plus uh, the entire geo inventory uh, okay yeah please go ahead so uh, Basically, say for instance, a marathon runner had a heart attack while uh, rehearsing. Okay. So how did we retrieve the patient? What all happened? It took him approximately a minimum number of days to be back and now he's running again. He just featured into the last marathon okay. and he finished it well, well before his time. So all of these conversations we did, so uh, though it is launched... How, how does it fit in with localization? I, didn't get I, that. I was about to give oh, that sorry. answer. Please. So though it is launched on Geo, you won't believe that the Kolkata, the Karnataka episode, which is the Bangalore episode, while we shot it, we shot it in Kannada, mix of Hindi, mix of English, and we kept it true to the, the language that the person wanted to use or use in their daily way. The Bangalore episode is absolutely the most viewed in Bangalore. Really? The Kolkata episode is most viewed in Kolkata. One episode that we did for Ahmedabad, you won't believe we have 2 million views on it. And it's all Ahmedabad views. Even though you were on a platform which is across India, 
you've live, there is no restriction on you watching it in, in Hyderabad as well, but you're getting that kind of traction just because you built it to the colloquial sense of it. That's amazing, but didn't you, uh, I mean, you're doing it first time, right? And you're doing it in 10 different languages. 10 different languages? Must have been. Or maybe eight or We seven. did four. Huh? For four different languages. Yeah. That's a, I mean, the chance of getting it wrong is quite high, no? I mean, because you're doing so many different languages, different episodes, Correct. et cetera. But worked out well so far. Touch wood, four weeks, 110 million views. And and you won't believe that we first launched it on Geo, not on our YouTube channels. Uh, we launched later on our YouTube channel. Tell me something. I mean, I don't know if you would like to answer this question, but you are an outsider to this business, OK? You have come to a chain, I think, which is pretty enterprising, and it's relatively young. It's like 20 years old, right? Yep. Right? So I suppose they're open to a lot of things. But did you, didn't you have trouble convincing people internally that uh, you know, we need to create this long-term type of uh, bonding or relationship with our potential customers? Because that is not the way uh, any of the chains were doing, the way you say it, right? Like you said, uh, it's a lot of, um, it's young right now. And you won't believe our chairman, Dr. Chetty also, he still believes in a lot of things to be seen right now, not how, how they've been done earlier and what's the future. So from there onwards till uh, to Viren, they are very enterprising in terms of understanding what are the requirements. So they understood that it's not about hospital, it's healthcare. It's not about just patient, it's about consumer. So that, that nuances, and yes, you, you still have challenges. See, uh, healthcare industry at large still works on that model, sure. uh, which is transactional. Uh, they won't care or work, I, I don't want to say it for anyone else, but uh, the reality is if you go for a cuff or a headache, you might or might not get kind of services that you can. The moment you say, I'm here for a heart transplant. Sure. That's the truth. Yeah. There's no running away from it. So what has been the impact? You're saying you got like 100 million views in a, in a month. What has been the impact? In terms, so what has that led to? Is there an instant... Um, interest in your brand, what has happened? What has been the... So our searches or in is these it too areas, early? Huh? Our searches in these areas have grown. And uh, to be honest, um, a lot of conversations about knowing more about our doctors, so the inbound calls have increased for us in these areas. Of course, that's something which we also don't want. We don't want, so once, there's nothing called as a repeat. We don't want you to repeat. You know, you've come once, please. <laughs> so it just goes there. But information seekers have increased. So it's never about you please come and get the surgery done. It was always about to provide that information and awareness that these are the things that you can do while in an emergency case. And with the, each episode, we have a message also which says that either you learn CPR and how you learn CPR. Stroke, if you have a stroke, either a brain stroke or a heart stroke, what needs to be done? So we packaged it with that as an information to be given. What's the name of the series? Inside ER. Inside ER, okay. So before you mentioned Inside ER, you were saying that now we're trying to do hyper-local advertising, right? Whether it's billboard, sprint, whatever. Everything is within a 30-kilometer um, radius. So now that presumably means that it's all, all the advertising is local. It's so, totally local? Um, in a couple of it? weeks, we're going to launch our... Uh, first initiative, which is very, very hyper-local for Kolkata market. And uh, like you said, Inside ER was a brave move. Uh, mm -hmm. We were being gutsy. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've come back to reality in terms of how it needs to be dealt for long term. That was a lot of uh, air cover that provided us as a support that, yes, you are right. Mm -hmm. But now when we are going hyper-local, uh, our next campaign is very Kolkata. So what, what's the, uh, what is the fundamental message you're... Uh, so we've been there for years, right? We've been there for 23 years. And we're just spreading love to the... Uh, you won't believe... So there was, a, uh, there was a... On the first day when the hospital was launched, there was a heart screening camp 20, back 23. 23 years ago. There was a screening camp. This is very interesting. Please hear this out. Uh, there was a heart screening camp that Dr. Shetty did. And there was a gentleman who had brought in his daughter and uh, she was diagnosed with a problem. So I treated her and um, 
when she grew, became an adult, she's now working with us. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Similarly, uh, there was another case like this where we helped the the person in need. He he belonged to a not much affluent society, and um, that person was identified very young. That he's a very bright kid. He came for a checkup with us. Uh, I think he was seven years old at that point in time. And that point in time, after that, he said, "I want to be a doctor like you." And we made sure that he's a doctor and he's working with us now. So okay. that's that's the kind of impact that uh, the brand has with Kolkata. So we are kind of now coming back and sharing that kind of love. Uh, so giving so back. you're starting this uh, hyper local uh, promotion w in Kolkata to begin with, and then you will carry it to the other centers. Yes, but with their own nuances. So what are the difference? How different can the nuances be? Give me some example. So uh, yes, it was. Uh, so for, if you say for North, it's, it's very, very different on how you're gonna talk about it, correct? So the nuances different will be how it is presented. Like, uh, say for instance, for the Kolkata campaign, it has to be football, it has to be chai, it has to be the negotiation and the chai tapri conversation, it has to be carom board, it has to be uh, pili taxi, right? So those nuances is what you pick up. Now if you do that for North, so the, your nuances of showcasing it will change. So that's the fundamental. But you know, in one of the earlier panels... Emotions will still remain the okay. same. In one of the earlier panels, some, uh, one of the speakers made a very interesting point. He said that, uh, you know, you realize that if you can really make... If the insights can also be local, mm -hmm. rather than only the language being local, I mean, the way in which people... What people expect from hospital chains, okay? Is, is that different from a north and a south and a east, or is it pretty much the same thing? The way in which they s s view it? No, not at all. Um, end of the day, there are a couple of things that, are, that a consumer look if they turn to the patient journey. If I'm there, please service me well. Give me that kind of service that I require. Show me that empathy and compassion. And the, the insight remains true across India. Imagine, I am sure there will be, must be people here from north and other parts of the India. The only thing when we go to hospital is I don't have to wait for too long. I don't have to rush, run from one point to the other. So those insights absolutely remain the same. The way you bring them out, uh, because those are the pain points. I'll only go where once I know this is how it works with me. You know, Dr. Shetty has become such a le legend, and especially after COVID, I think, he developed a, uh, he probably had a big following even before, but during COVID, when people were looking for, uh, you know, people whose voices made sense, I think he probably picked up, and, uh, you know, followership of really of millions. Do you use him in your campaigns in any way? Or do you, I mean, it must always be, it's a sitter, right? How many people have a CEO and a founder who has such a vast following? and people trust him. See, yes, our founder chairman is a big name. Um, and I'll tell you, when when I came here, I did the brand dipstick. Um, it was much bigger name than the brand name itself. I, I can imagine that. <laughs> right. And, and uh, the connotation of him to the brand was weaker. A lot of people didn't knew that uh, Narayana Health is Dr. Shetty. Dr. Shetty is Narayana Health. He, at some part of the parts of India, it was looked at separate. Okay. So, uh, but there are a lot of uh, guidelines. You cannot, and he himself doesn't like at all uh, to be utilized at the purpose of uh, creating so-called consumer pull. Consumer pull. But when you talk to him about um, something as information providing. Something as, say for instance, this could help people at large. You will always see him at forefront. Okay, so, all right, I get it. So he would, he will be willing to be involved if it involves a larger purpose rather than uh, merely getting patients. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. What has been the reason for you wanting to go into insurance now? So like I said, so we are evolving our ecosystem from do, just Do you have some international tie-up on this, or are you doing it totally on your own? No, this is 100% owned by us. Mm -hmm. um, so we are moving from hospital to healthcare, like I said. 
So you need to think about entire 360 of a healthcare space. Now imagine um, you're buying your uh, insurance from provider A, but you are getting it serviced at a hospital which is provider B. Correct. Both of them have no connection. Without that connection, not a, the provider is worried about your health. Provider B is ready to come, please come, I'll cut you, this is the money that I will take you. So there is no synergy for the consumer. Okay. So that now, if say, uh, say your provider, which is the hospital, and say your insurance provider uh, is the same, they will make sure that you don't reach them. So there are so many more programs that I'll be able to do with you so that I'm able to keep you healthy. And any which ways, if it reaches to that level that you have to, then you have the right partner already with you. So that was our intention, to build the entire ecosystem so that I'm there with you from the start till the end. But if, if I take an insurance with you, I could equally go to some other chain, right? Absolutely, absolutely. As per the guidelines, you, have, uh, you need to have the entire network up. And I think very, re uh, very recently, uh, the government also changed the guideline, even if uh, insurance provider is not with the network or say for instance a particular hospital, they, he, uh, that hospital cannot say you know. Okay. okay. Have to treat. Okay. Uh, we have less than four minutes. Hmm. Uh, does, would anybody have any questions of uh, Dr. Ashish? Anything you want to know about the... Tea break can be early. Huh? Otherwise no, tea no, break no, can no, be no, early. No. There's one more session. Oh, okay. encourage them to <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no? Nothing immediately. Okay, so so what is the stuff that worries you now from a marketing standpoint with regard to the next couple of years? Wow, felt like that I'm fitting for my KPI. Mm -hmm. But uh, worries, worries. On camera too. On camera too, and it's live I hope. <laughs> uh, so uh, what worries right now is, um, again, the, it's a, it's a, the change is at a very nascent stage in terms of um, the, the industry understanding that it is not transactional, it is long term. But for consumer, what worries me that we still keep falling to the trap. So uh, yes, the last three years that we were during the COVID, we were struggling. We, we understood and learned a lot about us, ourselves. Uh, that doesn't mean now that the world is open, we go back to zero. That is what worries me rather than looking at what brands are doing. That's a good point. Okay, Asha, I really asked whatever uh, you know I had on my plate. Thank you so much. I think, I, by the way, I didn't realize that, I mean, I always assumed that, um, you know, if, if you're marketing for a hospital chain, you would start by trying to get them in for the small bits, okay, for the uh, OPD consultancy, and that would lead to surgery. But uh, Ashish just corrected me on that, that that's not at all the way it operates. So it, is, it just, the whole business is geared towards the bigger things and not the smaller things. So you're, you're now working for the small man, right? Okay, thank you so much, Ashish. Thank you, sir.